Sekarang kita ada menyewa kereta Kona Light So kereta ni ada lebih kurang 39 kW battery Alright sekarang SOC kereta ni adalah 82% Dan it's supposed to give us the range like 280 km So kita ada meeting pada pukul 12 Kita tengok sejauh mana kita boleh pergi Jom! Sejam setengah dah kita berjalan Dan kita tinggal lagi 112km dengan 34% SOC So, saya dah ada start uh, rasa range anxiety <laughs> Dan di dimanakah next uh, point Syah? Where, where, is, where is our next station ni? Manalah aku tahu <laughs> Alright, so kita ada lagi 26% bateri Dengan yakinnya dan mengharapkan next station ada hidup <laughs> Okay. Simpang Pulai Station eh Katanya kita ada uh, Park Easy Dan kita akan tengok lepas ni Kalau berfungsi Kalau tidak Kita harapkan yang terbaik Dari peri lagi <laughs> 37km more To get to Simpang Pulai Yes 37km Tak okay Okay <laughs> So what happened? Uh, see that currently we are charging. Oh, 16 kilowatt, 80 percent, 80 percent is charging. All right. Uh -huh. So we managed to take about 25 kilowatt. Eh, betul lah. Ah, uh, they can refresh. So after 80 percent. Okay, so we charge about 42 minutes, 48 eh, for 80%, running it to 20 cents. So I think it's about, berapa tu eh? 40 ringgit. Okay. Berapa? Tak keluar je. Please remove cable first. Oh, okay. Kena kira remove cable Okay, this is not as heavy as just now Because this is only 60 kW Tadi dia double the size Alright Kau tutup Ui, panas tu benda ni So, this is just a story to be told So, macam tadi kita nampak mula-mula dia charge about Almost 40 kW power Tapi bila after 88% tadi, after 80% dia dah drop sampai 15 kilowatt per hour sahaja. So, it's up to our calculation lah sama ada berapa persen yang kita perlukan untuk reach our destination ataupun untuk optimize our time. Better charge lagi banyak kali tapi masa yang pendek ataupun nak sekali charge penuh biar masa yang lama tapi boleh terus sampai ke destinasi. It all up to our appetite. Tadi kenapa charge sampai 80, uh, kata nak charge sampai 80% tapi pergi charge sampai 88% Haa itulah kisahnya Sebab ada orang bila makan Bila kita kadang-kadang orang kata ulama yang nak tunggu Tapi sebenarnya bila kita pergi makan, kita buang air Sebenarnya masa yang kita ada tu sebenarnya lagi lama Daripada apa yang kita imagine untuk fulfillkan benda ni So tadi siapa yang makan lambat tu akulah Malam <laughs> Misha How was the drive? Longest journey in EV? No. Eh? 300 and... Berapa KM? I've been here lah what guna Yay! So finally we have reached here with Matlo! <laughs> so we had a long long journey. Was it long enough? <laughs> so basically we stopped by at two charging stations. And it was not that long actually. We just stopped by for about 20 minutes in the first station and about 40 minutes in the second station. Yes! So light. That's 
Alright, so I managed to get Finally, we have uh, completed 100% charge the hotel menggunakan charge EV Then, seterusnya kita akan go for our event Then, shoot straight away to KL Let's go! Alright, so sekarang kita daripada Pulau Pinang Tadi, uh, Batu Feringgi kita ada now 70% dekat Gunung Semanggol Kita nak test Gentari Charger So, cara nak pakai ni eh, boleh pakai satel apps So, nampak ke? Cannot see lah Cannot see eh? Eh? Charge je lah <laughs> So, kita kat sini Okay Alright, baiklah kita dah berjaya sampai ke Bukit Gantang Now, the battery is 67% Kita nak try to isi sebanyak mungkin uh, Sebab this is the last station before kita sampai ke KL That's lah That's DC uh, Along highway before kita sampai ke KL So, tapi nampaknya kita ada satu Tesla Model 3 yang tengah charge Dan oh my god, tengah tengok sama ada dia nak habis ke baru charge Oh wow, jom kita check Ada awet, ada awet sebelah hmm. Ada awet kat situ <laughs> <laughs> Yeay, Alhamdulillah kereta Tesla tadi dah pergi setelah 80% Sangat-sangat 86% 86% sangat, eh? Haa, uh -uh, dia Okay, dia that is the right way ya yeah? Kalau dah isi 80 to 90% tu dah Boleh stop lah, janganlah hold the place for others Okay, let's fill up 66 to at least 80, okay? Our turn Alright, so kita dah charge Oh, cuma one thing saya nak share sikit Cik. Tadi dekat situ, kita tak boleh tekan stop dekat the machine Kita kena pakai apps juga So, I think there's a challenge kat sini yang kita boleh improve Or the CPUs boleh improve Sebab, kalau kita tak boleh pakai apps juga There must be a way untuk kita stop kat sini kan Tapi tadi tak boleh, dia kena pakai apps juga so, we'll see how. Okay, let's go to Tenaga Switch here or any possible entrance towards KL. Okay, mana kita sampai? Alright, so the amazing today is kita dapat sampai KL 28%. Kita stop pun dekat TSG. We just move all the way from Bukit Gantang. Eh, no. Apa nama? Uh, Ipoh. Ipoh. Sampai ke sini, kita manage to drive optimally at 100 km per hour and then we manage to go to 100 km per hour and now kita kat Equitorial Plaza nak meet someone who's going to use charge TV tapi kena tulis dekat ni alright so we made it oh, as a summary we went to Penang with having two stops which total up to be 60 minutes and uh, when heading back we made one extra stops for fun and total cost us 75 minutes but actually when we think back if we drive optimally the car can go about 300 kilometers so actually we only need one stop we don't need to have two or more stops and um, looking at that time possibly it might need us up to 40 to 60 minutes stop and uh, it's not that of a problem because as I mentioned earlier we can have lunch we can have prayers and everything that might cost us some time and uh, that sums up to have for us to have a good journey with a good stop that's about it thank you for watching